here's Organist 1982, and we're going to be making waffles with the GE waffle iron. It has Bakelite handles. I imagine this would date maybe from the maybe from the late 50s. There's the pilot light, and as usual with these kind of things, I think it just uses the heating element to serve as the pilot light. Here's the inside. Coiled nichrome wire on porcelain supports as the heating elements. And I took the grids off. I just rinsed them. I didn't actually wash them with soap because I didn't want to remove the seasoning from the grids. So we're going to reassemble the waff iron. And we're going to use Morrison's Pan Kits brand pancake mix, which was made in Denton, Texas. So now Organist 1982 is going to make up the batter using Morrison's brand pan kits. Here's the pilot light lighting up just from the heat of the nichrome wire as it heats up. I'm going to give this a test. This is actually the first time I've tested this just to make sure it works. And then uh, Organist 1982 will make the waffle batter. We now have followed Morrison's recipe for making waffles. Here's the directions. One unbeaten egg, two tablespoons of vegetable oil, and one cup milk. So, now we're going to pour the cup of milk in there. We've got vegetable oil in there and one unbeaten egg. Now, what do the directions say to do there after that? Mix well. Okay, mix well. So, Organist 1982 is going to mix it up here and the pilot lamp has gone out on the waffle iron, indicating that the correct temperature has been reached. But now the Morrison's directions say to put it on high. So let's turn it up a little bit here. And you'll see the pilot lamp come back on as the nichrome heating element warms up. I try my best to polish the top of this to a mirror-like finish. There are some things that have to still be uh, removed from the top, but it's not too bad. So Organist 1982 will now uh, make the batter. Now the batter has been made, now I'm going to apply some butter to the surface of the heated grids. Got some butter on a paper towel here. I'm going to put some on onto the grids. And it has been preheated, so it now should be ready to make the waffles. Okay, we've got some batter here, so we're going to just pour it into the grids. We'll just, uh, it's been a long time since I've done this, but we'll just, uh, we'll just do one in the middle here as a test. Well, it appears that there was a failure in the process here. And I have to see what what ended up going wrong because um, it just maybe I didn't put enough butter on the grids, or maybe I didn't put enough batter in. August 1982 and I are real hungry though, so we're going to get out the 1979 Farberware electric griddle, and we're just going to make some pancakes because we know that there's not too much that can go wrong in that process. So we'll have to analyze the failure mode of the waffle process and just try that, try it again for next time. But let's, let's make some pancakes now. Here's the 1979 Farberware electric griddle made by Walter Kitty and Company. It's not in mint condition, it's very well used but one thing you'll notice is that this has the modern Farberware logo on the heat control and the older logo on here. We'll be cooking griddle cakes at a temperature of 375 degrees Fahrenheit. And we'll just wait for the neon indicator light to go out before uh, beginning to cook them. Got the cake turner here. Now I still have batter, so it should be all ready. Now have the griddle cakes cooking on the Farberware electric griddle. So I think they're ready to be turned. 
Looks like they're uh, well done on the bottom. To just the right degree of uh, brownness, and maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit too brown, but I think they're still going to turn out good. Just need to let them cook a little bit longer, and we'll be ready to enjoy them. Now, August 1982 and I are enjoying the pancakes made with the 1979 Farberware electric griddle. It provides table-side cooking convenience, just like they promised in the uh, brochures.